Hello everyone, this is Josh Bastine, and I'm going to show you Google Jamboard. Jamboard is a very, very simple whiteboard, is basically what it comes down to. You may be already familiar with Explain Everything, the iPad app. This is like that, but very pared down to just the basic, bare minimum. That makes it much easier to use, but it also means that you don't get a lot of the bells and whistles. So to get there, you simply go to jamboard.google.com, and you'll notice I don't have any jams right now. So I'm going to click on the plus down here at the bottom to create a new one. And this just creates a blank canvas that I can use. And you'll notice up here at the top I have only one slide. You can add multiple slides. So you can write on it. You have a pen, you have a marker, you have a highlighter, and you have a brush. And you have a few different colors. So I can write here. So I'm writing all over it. If I have a stylus, I could um, use my stylus to write on it as if it were a whiteboard. I can change colors. I've got the marker here. It looks pretty much the same, but it's a little bit thicker. You have the highlighter. If you want to highlight things, you'll notice that's um, lighter. And then finally, I have the brush, which is even lighter, but you'll notice it kind of has that little expand effect. It's kind of like a watercolor type thing. As you go over things, it can, yeah. So there's that. You can erase, just like you would expect. You have a mouse cursor here that you can, if you have anything embedded, you can select those things. You can add post-it notes. Here's my note. You'll notice down here it keeps track of how many cur uh, characters you're typing and you only get so many. It has a limited number of characters you can use. You can change the color or have no color if you like and then save and it puts it on there and you can add multiple sticky notes. But now that I have something to manipulate, I can use my mouse cursor to move it around. You can make it bigger and smaller. You can rotate it. You can duplicate it. So now I have two. Make this one bigger and rotate it that way. Maybe I can uh, edit it and change the color. You can insert images. Images need have to come, either you can upload them, you can search Google for them, you can put them from your Google Drive or from your photos. So let's just search for an image. I always search for puppies because puppies are cute. <clears throat> so now I have this image that I can play around with. And you can also notice that you can mark on top of the images. So if I wanted to, there's some coloring. Let's go back to the pen. Say, look at this cute puppy. He's got a cute little eyes and a cute little nose. You also have a laser pointer. What this will do is simply make a line that goes away when you quit clicking. So you'll see that it kind of fades as I go. This way you can highlight things. Look at this adorable puppy without actually marking on the document. This way you can draw your um, audience's attention. So if I'm done with this slide and I want to get a new one, all I do is click the right button up there and it will create me a new one and you can do the exact same thing. You can mark on it, do whatever you want. When you're done, just click new. It'll create you a new one. And you can always go back to look at your former slides. Just click on the slides right here or you can just go back. You can also set the background of your slides if you want to. Um, this is useful if you're doing type of graphing or things like that. So, for example, I might set it to squares like that if I wanted to. And I can clear the frame, which will get rid of everything on there. It just takes it a second. There it goes. And if I don't like that, I can undo and it'll put everything back. And that's really all there is to it as far as Jamboard goes. Um, the one feature I wish they had that they don't is the ability to import a PDF. You can import an image, but you cannot import a PDF. There's a really missing feature that would be very useful. You can get around this by simply taking a picture of your PDF and then uploading that picture. I mean, there's there's an easy workaround, but it it's just an extra step. So if you are looking for a super simple whiteboard application, Jamboard is wonderful and it, it'll meet your needs as long as your needs are all of the things we've just talked about. If you need more advanced features, um, explain everything would be the way to go. Get that on the... Um, the Coker App Store, that self-service app, and you can download that and use that if you're wanting more robust whiteboarding. But if you're just wanting this simple type thing, Jamboard is wonderful and it'll get the job done. If you have any questions, please feel free to shoot me an email or email support at coker.edu and we'll be happy to help. Thanks.